in this question, we're being asked to divide 376 by 4. So how many times does 4 go into 376? I'm going to use the process that's sometimes called short division to answer this. And that means I'm going to have a 4 on the outside and 376 on the inside. When we're doing these division questions, it can be helpful to write down the times table of the thing we're dividing by. So we're dividing by 4. So I'm going to write the 4 times table down the side. So 1 4 is 4, 2 4 is 8, and so on. So I'm just adding 4 every time. And I'm going to go all the way up to 10 times 4. So 10 times 4 is 40. So I've written out my 4 times table, and then I'll start this process. So we start with the hundreds column. We start with the biggest one this time. So how many 4s go into 3? Well, none. So no whole 4s go into 3. So there's going to be 0 in the hundreds. But we've got 3 left over. So I'm going to shift that down into the tens and have 37 in the tens. So now we ask how many fours go into 37. So we can see from our four times table, nine fours make 36. So nine fours go into 37 and there's one left over. So that's going to go into the ones column and make 16. So how many 4s go into 16? That's 4. So that is the answer. So 376 divided by 4 is 94. Here's a question for you to try. So pause the video and give it a go. Okay, so we've got 387 divided by 3. So 3 on the outside, 387 on the inside, and I'm going to write down my 3 times table, and again, I'm going to go all the way up to 3 times 10, which is 30. So to start with, the hundreds, how many threes go into three? That's one. There's nothing to carry over. In the tens, how many threes go into eight? So two threes go into eight. That makes six. I've got two left over. So I'll move them down into the ones. And how many threes go into 27? That's nine exactly. So my answer is 129. Here we've got a different example. This one is harder because we've got bigger numbers, but the process is going to be the same. So we've got 2058 divided by 14. So 14 on the outside and 2 1058 on the inside. I'm going to write down my 14 times table, which is a harder one. So 114 is 14. Add on 14 for 28. Add on 14. So add on 12 to get to 40. And then two more. 42. Add on 14 to 42. That's 56. 14 more than 56 is 70. 14 more than 70 is 84. And then another 14 goes to 98. So we're up to 7. I'll do one more. So 2 to 100. And then another 12, 112. So that's 8 times 14. I may as well go to 10. So 
add another 14 and one more so there we go it's up to 10 i don't know if i'm going to need all of them i could have gone up to five and done more if i needed it but i've gone all the way up to 10. now we start the process so how many 14s go into two so the thousands column that's zero and that means we've got two left over to go into the hundreds how many 14s go into 20 so one 14 goes into 20 that's 14 so there's six left over 14 plus 6 makes 20. how many 14s go into 65 so 4 56 what's left over so the difference between 56 and 65 so if, if i'm at 56 there's four to get to 60 and then another five to 65 four and five is nine so i carry nine over into the ones how many 14s going to 98 so that's one two three four five six seven so my answer is 147. Okay, a question for you to try. Pause the video, give it a go, and press play when you're ready to carry on. Okay, so 588 divided by 12. 12 on the outside. 588 inside. The 12 times table, I'll write down the side. So 60 is 5 times 12. 72 is 6 times 12. 84 is 7 times 12. 96 is 8 times 12. Then I've got, so add on 4 to 100, and then another 8 um, to 108. That's nine twelves, and one more will be ten twelves. So how many twelves go into five? That's none, and we'll carry the five over into the tens. How many twelves go into 58? So four, make 48. So four twelves go into 58, and there are 10 left over. So 10 go into the ones. So how many 12s go into 108? That's nine, that's nine times 12. So nine 12s go into 108 and the answer is 49. Now we are gonna look at dividing decimals. Here we've got 408.5 divided by 0 0.25. What I'm going to do to start with, I'm going to take my division and I'm going to rewrite it as a fraction. So a division can always be rewritten as a fraction and that is why the division symbol looks like a fraction. So I've got 408.5 over 0 0.25. With a fraction, if I multiply the top and the bottom by the same thing, the fraction stays the same. So if I multiply the top and bottom by 10, I'm going to have 4085 over 2.5. And I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 10 again which will give me 40,850 over 25. The answer to 408.5 divided by 0 0.25 is going to be the same as 40,850 divided by 25. So I'm gonna change the question into 40,850 divided by 25, and that will have exactly the same answer.
So I'm going to write 25 on the outside. And 40,850 on the inside. And I'll write down my 25 times table. One two five, one fifty, one seven five, two hundred, two two five, two fifty. So that's up to ten. And how many twenty fives going to four? That's zero. And carry the four over that are left. How many twenty fives going to forty? One, which makes twenty five. And that means if we're at twenty five. And we're going to 40, we've got 15 left. So that becomes 158 in the hundreds. How many 25s going to 158? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 make 150. And that means that 8 are left over. How many 25s going to 85? So 3 make 75. And that means 10 are left over. And how many 25 is going to 100? That's 4. So I've got my answer as 1,634. So the answer to 408.5 divided by 0 0.25 is 1,634. Okay, a question for you to try. So pause the video and give it a go. So you've got 294 divided by 0 0.6. So if you multiply top and bottom by 10, you've got 2,940 divided by 6. So the answer to 2,940 divided by 6 is the same as the answer to 294 divided by 0 0.6. So I have 6 on the outside, 2,940 on the inside, and I'll write down the 6 times table, so 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, is 5 times 6, 36, 42, 48, 54, and 60 is 10 times 6. So start with the biggest column. How many 6s go into 2? 0. And there's 2 left over to carry on. How many 6s go into 29? So 4 6s make 24. And from 24 to 29, that's 5. So we've got 5 to carry over into the tens. How many 6s go into 54? That's 9. So 9 in the tens. And how many 6s go into 0? Well, 0. There's going to be nothing here. So the answer is 490. And to finish up, we've got three questions, so pause the video, give them a go, and press play when you're ready to carry on. Question 1. 1,246 divided by 7. So 7 on the outside. 1,246 on the inside. And I'm going to write the 7 times table down the side. So 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49 is 7 times 7, then 56, 63, and 70 is 10 times 7. So we'll start with the biggest column, the thousands. How many 7s go into 1? That's 0. And we'll carry the 1 over into the hundreds. How many 7s go into 12? 1. 1 7 goes into 12. And I've got 5 left over. So 
So we carry the 5 over into the tens. How many 7s go into 54? 7 squared is 49. So that's 7 7s seven's are 49. So 7 makes 49. And that means I've got 5 left over. And how many 7s go into 56? That's 8 exactly. So the answer is 178. Question 2. 4,240 divided by 16. So 16 on the outside. 4,240 on the inside. And I'm going to write the 16 times table down the side. So 16, 32, 48. So 2 to make 50. And then another 14, so 64. Then we're going to have 80. That's 5 times 16. I don't know if I'm going to need more. I'll do one more. So 6 times 16 will be 96. I'll leave it there and see if I need them. So how many 16s go into 4? That's 0. So carry the 4 over. How many 16s go into 42? 2 which makes 32. So I've got 10 to carry over, which is 104. I better write down the next one. So 96 plus 16, 96 plus 4 makes 100, and another 12, so 112. So it's how many 16s are into 104? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which is 96. And I've got 8 left over which is 80 in the ones. How many 16s going to 80? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the answer is 265. And finally, question 3. 84 divided by 0 0.3. I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 10. So that's the same as 840 divided by 3. So I'm going to work out 840 divided by 3. 3 on the outside, 840 on the inside. The 3 times table is 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. How many 3 is going to 8? 2. 2, 3 is going to 8. That makes 6. So I've got two left over to carry into the tens. How many three is going to 24? That's eight. So eight in the tens. And how many three is going to zero is zero. So zero in the ones. So the answer is 280.